Hola. ¿Cómo estás? Uh. Hi guys, what's up? Welcome, welcome, welcome. For those who are unaware, we are having a nice, interesting discussion tonight. It's Let's Talk Men and Women. I have two guests who are supposed to be joining me as well. I'm going to add them in a bit. I see John in the room. He has sent me a request. Big up yourself, John. I'm going to add you in a bit. I uh, Let me message Miss Devore. Make sure so she knows that we're on. Okay, so Miss Devore is on. Good, good. All right, so I'm going to be adding them quite in a, in a little bit. Just making sure all of my things here are working, all my keys, everything. All right, so big up on yourself, guys. As I said before, we're going to have a nice, clean discussion tonight. I mean, probably not so clean. <laughs> but we're going to have a discussion tonight, and I want you guys to participate as much as possible. Yes, I do have my panelists. They are John and Miss Devore, a.k.a. Angela. Uh... This is not going to be just about myself and them talking. It's literally, we are just kind of guiding the conversation. I will want you guys to uh, give your input as much as possible. I am not looking to have a disrespectful conversation. I'm not here to be like, okay, all men are dogs, all men are drunk. Girl. I'm not here to be like, all women are the scum of the... You understand? I'm not into that. I want it to be a nice, sexy, fun conversation. If you feel like you have to come on and act all crazy, even if you vent a little bit, try to reel it back in, check your emotions, all right? Um, there's nothing wrong with being emotional. You're a human being, and, and we, are, we are allowed to be emotional every now and then, all right? People make it seem like emotions is a bad thing. It really is not. It's wonderful. It makes you human. It makes you interesting. Um... So anyway, let me add my panelists. The first one I see is John. I'm here. So John is. Hey, hey good body, Christina. <laughs> good head, Christina. Good body and good head. <laughs> good night, Insta John. fam. Big up yourself, John. So I have known John for the longest while. Um, I don't know how many of you knew me from back when I used to do backup dancing for the Angel. That was like years ago. Um, I tell people all the time, I'm, I'm John, but what a damn look, right? I know, <laughs> right? Not, no, we don't have them. People don't have to know that, right? We all are damn look. Right. So anyway, John is a medical esthetician and creative director of his own company, Model Behavior of New York. And John, you have a salon. Tell us yes. a little bit about you again. Go ahead and tell us. Ah, uh, boy, you put me on the spot. I <laughs> own a cosmetic store in New York, Brooklyn here. Yes. So if anybody, when you're in the city, just hit us up, follow and like, yes. and check us out. Yes, that is John. So I was saying from the days I used to dance with Daniel. So John used to be makeup artist, and he also used to do hair as well. So that's, I know John from like, we go way, way back. All right, so John is one of our panelists tonight. And then I also have Miss Devore, who is here. Miss Devore, Madame Sass. So I'm adding her now. Hello. Hi. <laughs> Big up yourself. So Miss Devore, a.k.a. Angela. So she has her bachelor's in social work. Hi. And she's in management. And she's a naturally creative person. Uh, many of you may have seen me wearing some of her bikinis. She's a bikini designer. So, you know, with that comes a lot of <laughs> sass, a lot of sexiness, a lot of fierceness. So, I two at people I have for my life tonight, tonight, people. So, you know, some have a cup good, right? Big up yourself, Mr. Vori. Is there anything uh, you want to say before we get started? Um, Happy Easter. Hi, everyone. Um, happy I, Easter. I kind of... Hi. How are you? Nice to meet you. Finally. Nice to meet you too. Finally. Um, uh, I like how um Chris has has spoken on us and or introduced how our conversation will go. It 
we don't want to be disrespectful. We are trying to just have open conversation, real conversation about the matter, you know, about men and women and, and things of this nature. Uh, me, I speak both eloquently and sometimes the look a bad girl come out so if you hear it you know <laughs> i just saw it go sometime yeah but no cursing no none of that just you know good talking mm. and nothing wrong if they look a bad word if they look a bad word then chip every now and then it's fine yes but you know as you you know get older you want to be more <laughs> graceful but some sometimes sometimes you have to make people know don't play <laughs> all right cool cool so again miss divorce said it happy easter everybody i didn't say that when i came on but happy easter to you all and i know a lot of you most of you are well obviously anybody with up on the live right now on the day i know easter party we are the ones who did not get found we're the easter eggs who never get found right <laughs> right <laughs> <laughs> so, but it's okay we're going to chill together tonight so anywho let's get right into it let's get right into it let me see here a little disclaimer guys i took the hot seat for you this is my opinion you'll have your time to just drop some things in the comments save right. your questions and your opinion because you know it matters yeah it's a good conversation so you get your time now and share the live. All right, so let me just type it in men versus women. So when persons jump on, they will know what we're talking about. Men versus women. And uh, in order to get your answers or get your questions them answered or to say a comment, I would advise you click the little question box for the persons who are watching. Like God, many of them give me a warm time. All on there. I try to pin my comments. Okay. Yeah, so use a little question sign. Drop your comment in that question, in that in that little box there, little bubble. So to the bottom right of your screen, you would see um, a little bubble with a question mark. So you can click on that bubble and you can send us a comment or send us a question. If you want to join the live, you can send me a request by selecting the little symbol that has the camera on it. All right? Cool, cool. So let's talk men and women. Let's talk men and the first topic, right? Going right into it. The first topic is men aren't obsessed with women anymore and it's weird. So I found this quote on, I think it was Justin L.A. Awesome. Just L.A.'s page, yeah. And I saw this quote and I, I thought that it would be a great way to start tonight's conversation. So let us start with ladies first, yeah? Let's start ladies first. Um, men aren't obsessed with women anymore and it's weird. What do you think about that, Miss Devore? Well, definitely I see it. It's so true. It's like back in the days, like in the 90s, a man would meet a woman and he would just be adored. So it was like him, he's calling you, he wants to see you, he can't wait to see you, he's making all these great gestures for you and he's just ready even the early 2000s but to me it seems as if we have been a little wash out you understand like the, i think it i believe it's the internet i just think it's it's just they see everything they they see all these women online and because they see a lot they tend to not pay that much attention to what's what's in front of them or what they really want. Yeah. So, I like that. I I don't know. I I I just from from my experience, you meet someone especially if you you're pretty, you have a great personality, you're smart, you're funny, you're fun. And then my dead over your weapon. <laughs> and they're not dying they're over you. Them not dead over you. No. Yeah. It's like All right, you touch to, you touch a great you point. Turn the cartwheels and flips and everything and them would I just be like still I look a gears over there so so I I don't know. 
John, you wanted to chime in? Um, you touch on a great point, you know. The internet really has changed the game. You have to remember that this is a new generation, new time, new things. We have it at the click of our fingertips. The bar is higher and we have more things to choose from. The market bigger. Hey. A guy will be right here, a girl will be right here. And we're on the internet and we're just swiping left and right. The time that it took to and the energy to meet somebody back in the days. You probably would have to send to a love letter. Have a little party here and there, a little Burger King, and it just a work it way up. No, you just a swipe left, right. Some of the things they're swiping on is not even real, but they look good. So, boots up your little energy. You think you're hotter than hot. So, cute thing now work no more. I don't know what to tell you. Mm. It's availability. That's Are you available at the right? Are you in the right place at the right time? That's my take on it. It's now. Popping now. What's yeah. popping now? Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> Anybody in the chat? Anybody? Remember, we said we want this to be very interactive. Anybody have any thoughts on that? Let me see if anybody has said anything. It's all about KFC breast, leg, and tie. Somebody said that? Yeah, man. <laughs> Colleen says it's all about KFC breast, legs, and thighs. Yes, man, Colleen. And that's a very interesting point. Um, the whole thing about the internet um, and, and, you know, not only the, the availability, but also recreating or dehumanizing um, what is actually the, the reality. So, for example, you have a lot, of, a lot of the women who get a lot more attention. This is just my opinion. You can let me know if I'm not, you know. A lot of them who get the attention are persons who are probably getting enhancements done and stuff like that. Where's Mr. Vori? You know what I mean? To fall off. All right, so. No, 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 no. Before I joined, I had another request in there. Why, Mr. Vore fell off again? I had another request. All right, exit. Sorry. <laughs> no problem, no problem. There was somebody else who was trying to get on his room. I just didn't see the comments anymore, and I went to try to slide it down to see the comments. And then it got out. Oh, that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. Yeah. So we have this imagined look of what women are supposed to look like today. And it's very interesting. I saw this meme one time with, like, the, the image of a woman. It changes throughout generations. So, like, one time it used to be thin. Another era, it was very big and plump, like a Miss Kitty, big and plump. Well, not the no Miss Kitty, the original Miss Kitty type of plumpness, right? And then now it's the, the Cardi B type of look. So you've seen, what we've seen is that the image of a woman has changed over time. And it's almost like, if you can't get with it, you have to get as champagne. It's like an idea, you get deported. <laughs> so guess what guess what yeah so i wanted to clarify that the interests have not changed yeah you're probably looking in the wrong place mm -hmm. so it, and, and i know the cardi b body has a little impact but trust me every stick of them who are bush you say like every one of them stick a bush things still are pop for girls if yeah. you go online somebody must hit you up so maybe you're mm -hmm. looking in the wrong place, the wrong space. There's a shift. But yeah. we're not supposed to be looking. That's it's, not feminine. It's the hmm. 21st century, hon buns. I'm going to drink some. <laughs> you better look, you want them to find you. No make nothing pass you, man. Woo! Tell me about that now. Um, I'm so, okay. Okay, so back in the days, you might have your eyes on a guy. You could have your eyes on a guy, you know, but you're not gonna really go look them. Well, no. look with your eyes, man. Work your eyes. Make your eyes do the talking and the walking. Yeah, but I feel like when we do that, then our value goes down. And, you know, I would add to what Mr. Vori says. And I think it works both ways. And, you know, guys, let me see. There's, a, there's somebody who wants to come in. 
All right, Patrick. All right, I'm I'm adding Patrick to the chat. Um, what was I saying? I think it goes both ways because there's some men who love a woman to approach him, but then there's some men who, if you approach them, it's almost like they they, they become intimidated. You know what I mean? Um, Patrick, why are you in the Yeah, darkness? most of us don't like to be chased. We well, like to be in control. You like to be in control. Hi, Patrick. Why are you in the Hi. Let me just shift because I'm on the roadside. This is so, oh, so oh. interesting. So let me go in my vehicle and turn on my light a little bit. Uh, maybe you can okay. see my face. A bit more. Evening, Patrick. Evening, Patrick. Hi. Good evening, guys. Uh, yes, yeah, so I want to I want to give my little two cent. Um, as um, what's the gentleman name again? John. 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 Yeah, I would have said that the there's a huge paradigm shift where in this this in this dispensation, if a girl want to look you, trust me, she has no reservation. She's going to look you. So this thing about women looking men, it, I I don't see anything wrong with it. I don't see anything wrong with it at so, all. So, so, so Patrick, oh, so Patrick, yeah. To you, to you, and tell her, tell her, tell you that life. Sorry, you're 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 breaking up. You don't want the woman to come to such a person. If I want to what? Would you like a woman you like to approach you and tell you that she likes you? It has happened before. Where is that woman now? Um I think you're I think you're getting it wrong. I think you're getting it wrong because not because she approaches me, it means you that mean she don't want a play. I, I I just think it's just you know as as time evolves things change. Time evolves. Well, have you? You cook have curry you goat the same way. You not change how you cook curry goat or oxtail or stew peas. You have to put in the same seasoning to get the flavor. No, you the seasoning is the same. No, it's still man no. and woman, but it's a pressure cooker we using now. No, it's a dirty crock pack where you can't call cook. Same thing, not no, the regular the pot, the dirty crock pot. I'm glad you say the it. The method. Exactly. So all of us can cook curry goat, but the method of cooking the curry goat is different. I understand that, but at, you're going to need flavor. We have gonna we need the, the flavor, oven. me and you you're are gonna the flavor. The, but first of all, okay, but you're so using the wrong pot. When a woman, <laughs> when a woman... Of course, you have hearts for guys, especially when you're in high school. And you can, but they, you would wait till they approach you. Why are you going to approach a man? You don't know if he's married. This is the, this is for me, me feel like say, liberty. But, but, me feel like but approaching, look, you know, approaching them doesn't mean that uh, you are trying to date them right away. You could just approach a guy and say, hi, I'm. The chat is not for the Jamaican. Sorry. Jump in, jump in. Exactly. So, yeah. Um, Listen, I don't mind, you know, smiling or whatever, but me not to approach a man the way a man would approach me to ask him out on a date. That's, that's what I'm saying. You have to find your way of doing it. We probably do it a different way, but you can make a move. So if you're quinte and you drop your pen, go and drop your pen. Exactly. Exactly. So I have, I have a question. I have a question, Patrick. Have you ever sure. dated a woman who has approached you? And if yes, what was that relationship like? All right. Like, so you the one who initiated the relationship. So the so the approach so the approach could be direct or indirect as john alluded to earlier you could drop your pen you could do something to get the person's attention and um i remember i remember one time i was coming in from overseas and there was a female that she and i had the same seat 
And um, I mean, you know, we, we talk and I happen to give her her drive home because I parked my car in the parking lot. And um, things evolved from there. And then we became friends because every, every woman needs are different. So that's a no then. So you've never that's, dated a woman. That's very true. You've never yes. dated a woman who has initiated a relationship. That's what you're saying. No. I have. I have. And my current relationship, well, I wouldn't say it's a mutual thing. Mm -hmm. It's a mutual thing where you know, she never make out, I never make out, but it just happened because I know from her reaction that she finds interest. And so it has evolved and it is a current relationship. I was okay. told by certain... And I talk to hold on, hold on one second, guys. I'm married to a woman who approached me and our relationship is fine. Yeah. So one man... Clapping so Vilex, Vilex LR says that Vilex, you want to come on the live? Vilex, you want to come on the live? Let's know. All right, so let me come up here a little bit. Let me just, I don't want anybody to feel left out. Uh, let, me, uh, let me answer the question that's in the chat first. All right, so Amity says this the layers covering this issue you would need multiple episodes yeah amity but i mean this is the first one you have to start somewhere right <laughs> this is the first true, one true. true um all right so we're going off let me just check and see what is here we have quite a bit of comments here um yeah may i try to help you read through them <laughs> cool um, Stepas Sandals J.A. says, it's really difficult bagging a man these days, for real. It's like they've started a whole movement. They have this sense of self-importance and value that it's sometimes delusional. Uh, gentlemen, you want to comment on that? Wait, hold on. Wait, 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 hold on, hold on. I have to ask the two fellows. Thank you, fellows. Is the woman the prize? No. I beg to differ. Answer steppers. Answer steppers, Sandals J.A. That is a whole. Hold on. Hold on. Because that's our next something. Steppers, Sandals J.A. Patrick and John. She says, it's really difficult bagging a man these days for real. It's like they've started a whole movement. They have this sense of self-importance and value that is sometimes delusional. Steppers, Sandals, I don't know if you want to expound on that. If you want to come on the live, you can let us know. <laughs> But what 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 is your take on that? Okay, my take on that. Mm -hmm. Um, what what qualities? What 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 expectations are you trying to bag? <laughs> yeah, I think the expectations that you expect to get and the qualities is what you're trying to bag, and you can't find it. Mm -hmm. Because there is a definite shift. I, I must say something, and it, and, and I don't want to be the, the big pink elephant in the room. Go ahead, my darling. <laughs> we we want the elephant, to... them, then we're not going to know our one. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> All right. So, what may I say is, as a woman, you first of all, you don't know if this man has... A, a, a wife or a fiance or a relationship and you don't want to put yourself out there to be disrespected to be honest you know if right. you if you go to a barbecue and you meet someone and y'all strike up a, a conversation and it, and it leads that way fine but I, I'm sorry I'm sticking to my I, I will not ask a man out I will not it will not happen. Why? Why would you do? Where may I ask? May I ask him for caramel ice cream? Let me do. That would be sweet. 
You'd be shocked the response. Trust got. me, that would be cute. Of course, and then him got ice cream in way and I'm fancy. No. Stop, uh, stop having expectation and stereotyping. No, stop. Listen to what I'm trying to say to you. This is what's going on. Men are masculine and women are feminine. And this no, is what's we have to get out those boxes. Sorry about that, guys. Is the boxes creating problem, you know? We're holding Listen. on to the box. Which box you are talking about? I want the definition of what a woman should be, what and women then, do, then, what women we put ourselves out there, and then after we put ourselves out there, guys, I, men, quickly, the I'm men, gonna jump the back in a little meeting. Pray. I'll probably join you back soon. All right, All right so brother. You on, Patrick. Big up okay. yourself. See you later. Thank you, Patrick. Who must gravitate to the man that is supplying her needs to nurture into life? Womb must gravitate. Can somebody explain that? I would love if he explained it. Come again. What was the question? If he says, when man it, and Archon womb. Dove, Archon <laughs> Dove says, womb must gravitate to the man that is supplying her needs to nurture into life. That's a comment in the chat. Somebody made that comment. Yes. Mm -hmm. Archon Dove. Ripping off, John Dove, explain yourself, please. Oh, don't like you have to give up the kitty. I don't know if I'm getting it wrong. Repeat it again. What are you saying? Who must gravitate? Whom the must womb move, shift. Must gravitate to the man that is supplying her seeds to nurture into life. <laughs> I need some clarity. <laughs> now wait for the clarity. All right. I need some to... <laughs> as much as you want to be taken out of man, somebody read that it passed. Wait there. Man supplies seeds, womb nurtures seeds into life. That sounds like baby bringing man. Oh, I find it. Womb must gravitate to the man that is supplying her seeds to nurture into life, man and womb. Right. Um... Arts and Dove, yeah, you need to expound on that. Would you like to come on the live? Let me see if I can add him. The person expound, you see any other message below? Oh, he did? Yeah. He did? Mm-hmm. Where? 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 I Dumb. don't know if I go up in that hole. Oh, man supplies seeds, womb nurture seeds into life. That's all that baby making, though. That, and, you know, I feel like this person needs to come on the live and tell us mm -hmm. what he's doing. Um, let me, I'm going to try to add you. Ooh, how do you add Dove, Arts and Dove? Okay, let me try to add him. I'm uh, just... Hi. Oh, let me see here. I'm not saying that you can't, you know, you know, smile and flirt and all those nice girly things, but to say, may I have your number? Ask for the number, trust me. It's going to be hard. It might not be you, but I'm telling you, it works. It works. And then Fim said, um, No, have... stop worrying about where my teeth say one, say one, say one. No, because then the girl you might come yeah. in at the party. Who? Who? The girl might walk in. Then she, you know, say you take inside and with a girl, I'm going to lick you with pot cover. And a pot cover, they much have with no idea, sir. <laughs> Well, that girl no know fair, man, then. If you can just say hello to the man, can I have your number? And she get mad. <sighs> the guy said, just call him. I don't know, though. So I sent you an invite, Arts. I mean, you have to go, you have to go pronounce your name full, because I don't know if I pronounce it right. Arts and Dove. Arts and Dove. Arts and Dove. Arts and Dove. and a Dove. Arts and, and a Dove. dove. Okay, well, I sent him an invite just now. Don't like we would like you to come arm. on the live, please. And while we're waiting on him to come on, Stephas Sandals J.A. says, there is this everlasting debate on who is the prize. Once the intentions are same, all that shouldn't be an issue. Why are we not treating relationships like business transactions? Right. Because they I'm are. You. That's they are. True. I agree. Because. We have this uh, influencer who is influencing the man them. I would have. For ask the nice, for ask the woman them, their weight, 
and their size and if they've been married and why they're not married and what they bring to the table. Yeah. Hear what I say. Know who you are. Remember, you know, you were born and you live your whole life by yourself and you meet this person. You have to own your own. So it is a transaction. Marriage is work. Relationship is work. It's a transaction. Nothing wrong with transaction. We do it with the bank every day. From here, I kill nobody and everybody know what the transaction about. That's the bottom line. Do you know what the transaction you're in? You know the terms and conditions? That's where I leave that. What do you think about that? It's true. However, you wanted to have some genuine, you wanted to be genuine. Then leave that transaction there. If you right, think so now, nah, hear it. So Kanisha, sorry to stop you guys. Kanisha is sharing the same views as Miss Devori. She says, me not making no moves first, Miss Sorry. LOL, because some men will use it back at you. Kanisha, exactly. here. Kanisha I'm going to add you to the live. I'm not sure why Arkshan, I'm not sure why Dove is unable to come on. I sent him two requests just now and he declined one and then the other one says that he's unable to join. So I don't know. Maybe you should send me an, um, a request and then I'll add you, um, Dove. Kanisha, Kenise, Kanisha, Ken, oh, Kanisha Irving. Oh, my bad. <laughs> Kanisha Irving, I'm going to add you to the chat and you can expound on that. You have a nice comment. See if I can pick up that real quick. Read it out, read it out. It missed me, man. It missed me. Oh, shoot. Which oh, one? Where it's May I add Kenisha? Hold on. Kenisha Irving. The woman is my one traditional man. In today's day and age, relationships are pretty much done with, for especially when women want traditional men, but women aren't traditional nowadays. Relationships take work. It's a two-way street. I agree. I agree. That's true. Mm -hmm. But what, what's the what the issue comes in is because people are not communicating the way they used to communicate before. First of all, you cannot text me and try to get to know me. Texting is only to just have short, I'm on my way, blah, blah, blah. You have to talk. And people don't want to talk. No, and no. That probably work for you. Boy, I may do some serious texting and it work for me. Texting doesn't have any texture. You could be over there. Where you say? I'm going to drop a picture. What you mean? No, no, texture. Careful. It has no texture meaning. Yeah, I'm and with I'm with Miss Devore on that. You I can't... have picture and video for dropping on my text. So if that are not texture, I mean, you know what I'm going to say. A vice <laughs> note. Come on. Text fully, it's, fully okay, equipped. But this, well, this is what's going on in society nowadays. And it takes yeah. fully, fully equipped. No, you, shock with, you, because know. you can misinterpret what that. some... It's easy to misinterpret what someone is saying. Exactly. Exactly. I find a lot of people, a lot of men, both my age group and older men as well, them have this thing where they just want text. It's almost like you're testing the waters first before you actually have like a real life conversation. They don't want to have like an actual chat. I've been out in areas and I'm pretty sure everybody else has to where the, the thing now is that everybody will just be in them phone. And if you look up to try to have a conversation with somebody, it's like you're looked at like you're an alien. You look like you're looked at like you're weird. I don't know if anybody else has that. that That's me. true, Christina. Back to the old school. You go but to a wedding. Hmm? Go to a wedding and everybody stay so. Me not pay hundred and fifty dollars for you. I come at my wedding. I come look down in your phone. Yet. When me get married, I if I have a yacht party, anything may I keep? Please, me not pay for no food and cater to nobody. We're just want looking at it for. We're yeah. we're losing the moment. We're losing. We're losing the joy. I believe this, so. I but Christina, Christina, yes. and and yes, John, my darling. guess what now? Sometimes you have to meet the man halfway. Sometimes we can't all spell the words. Them are the texts we are used for fix up. We look at thing. No, you, you can start to... texting. Hold and... on, hold on. Ah, me know people who text till them all dead. It's just that my words them now come out right. So I want to go on intelligent to some of use up my text and my voice. You never see some of me kind of just voice. You're note. using texting. So you're using texting as a device. 
as a mode of communication that's what as it a is. device because you don't have any real personality is that what you're saying yeah but you're getting my personality you're getting it quite frank through the text it works for not some people not it works for some people trust me it works things where all yes. things that way you know, all want to say the text make it faster nobody <laughs> never beg your money yet and the text come in quick for you call on the phone and beg the money it's it a bill of holy for courage me just text and shut my eye and see if you text back the text wicked man we, where are you guys this is why i love the text i, I have must about five texts up me can have a second with the regular text me have text up too i don't get it when i need Colleen to use says, mm -hmm. go ahead sorry go ahead this is why society is failing as, as, as this is why it's failing because people want the easy way out. Let me see here. Stepa Sandal says texting has no personality. Um, Colleen says people are glued to their phones. I don't know. Let me tell you who, how I am. Let me tell you, and maybe this is just me. I am a ver I'm a person who I've been told that I'm, I'm emotional. I've been told that I'm sensitive. Me too. Me, one at a time that used to bother me, but then when I realized that, you know, after, you know, doing some, you know, introspection, I realized that I wouldn't be the person I am today un un unless I had, I was an emotional person, unless I was sensitive to certain things. There's certain things that I can pick up on that persons will not pick up on. So when it comes down to texting, and my partner will tell you, like, if me I talk to him, me I feel like I'm I didn't. Like, I don't like, like, if he's sitting down and looking this way at the TV, me after coming in front of him and looking at him, I, I just, I just like that type of interaction. I exactly. Like in the eyes. If I'm talking to you, forward. look at me. <laughs> look at me. It's very, it's very straightforward because yeah. you can, that's why when you go to court, them want to see you come out of the courthouse. You cannot text the judge. <laughs> after come in. That's just, that's just me. I feel like, I, 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 I oh, geez. John left. No, he he probably he, he dropped, dropped off. off. <laughs> yeah, he dropped off accidentally. Let me see if I can read. I can send him send him back invites. But yeah, for me personally, no, 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 no. Online court, y'all can't text. <laughs> them have online court. I want to Uh 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 uh. Covid are going now. The court them are going online. Hold on. <laughs> COVID are going and the court them are going online. All people who suppose it's all a dumb man you talk to him can't get a little chance. The text give him a little route. And that might be all your luck and my luck. The text are work. You know, work for you, but the text are work, man. You can't put a little emoji, you can't fix up sitting and if you know you don't look good, you send all one cartoon of yourself. Text is working. Come on, people, talk to me about the text now. It's not. I don't know. I don't know. Tell me. I, I, I don't know. I don't know. Ask the guys. They're not see if it's a man thing. I think, yeah. I think it's a man thing. I think so men like the guys to take, them. They like to take their time. Men, what are you saying about that? Vilex. Cora, it's my one who is single. Christina, see that the man express himself on the text. So if you think, <laughs> look for the big move the way he's making Kevin reach up in Jamaica or England and the text make him reach up. All right. Okay, John, relax yourself now. Ciao. VilXLR says, what happens to the guys that can't talk to women face to face? Okay. I mean, but if, if you can't speak to a woman. Well, you have to expound face. on that because then is it going to always be you and I talking via text? No, Even maybe it changed. Maybe it would change, but the comfort, the, to be comfortable, it, it probably take the guy a little while. Well, Liam, Steve Jobs. Uh, here's a good question. Here's a good, here's a good Steve segue. Here's a good segue. Steve Jobs in name, Chris. What's that? A Steve Jobs in name will create all of this. Um, no, him create, Jobs, well, him no, create one that's something. That's Apple. Apple and them something. Who created so Christina, it? can you, can you answer Mark the guy Zuckerberg. who texted the no. question? The guy wants right, to know if you're single and all that. Just text him privately. See your text nice? Stay here with us and text him privately. That me like about text. We still there, so you don't know what I go on. See what me I talk about? You sneaky. <laughs> Why so you call it sneaky? Said... You could have said private. 
Is your John set me up? Is your John set me up? <laughs> Christina, please to answer the young man privately, Carter. You can't do that by a text. Um, I will answer him. I'm going to answer him. Somebody say woman takes more than man. You see your life funny as I know. Well, I see a lot. Texting be. Colleen is asking how long should texting be? I'm going to answer she... Colleen. Colleen, yeah. say as Colleen. long as the two people them tolerate it. You win Colleen. some, you lose some. Colleen, you cannot, you cannot, you cannot uh, start up a relationship like when you start the car with texting. That's not true. What happened to Pen Pal? I mean, Remember Pen Pal? Hello? Pen Pal, <laughs> where the mail takes a million years for. Oh, were you there? Because they didn't have any other choice. That's what they wanted. It That's was a not choice. true. You could have taken plane and come on about that. Stay with the people in your country. Boy, you have PayPal and I pay your money for putting a paper. And it work. Me King, did have two King pen pal to one thing say I come off far in. Hello? King CLM says texting is an icebreaker. Nice. I like that. Somebody okay. said texting take too long. That come real quick. You just text That's boop and send. By the time I don't first of all, I'm not gonna sit there and write you a whole paragraph. See me a Siri. Blah 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 Bing. There you, you go, you know if you're right. I but listen, make it easy but some, there you go. How long are you gonna do that for? So you're gonna As wait long a, as it works for you and the person. If you can't oh, take your text in or your low man alone, man. No, listen to what I, I'm I saying to you. What I'm saying to you is you texting them, right? And after you texting them for all two weeks, then all of a sudden I'm Hey people. Hey. Hello. Hey Hi, Chris. Hey, welcome, hey. welcome. Introduce yourself to us. What's your name? Hi, Chris. Matter of fact, I'm Lee. Matter of fact, remember I was supposed to be trying to get you on my program, figures, if you remember. Yeah. And I was telling you that what is it? But anyway, that's another point. Remember come come in yourself. So. Repeat your name. Excuse me. Let me come in my home office. Pardon? What's your remind me of the name? Oh, my thing is called figures. Where we talked. It's just a conversation. No, it's not no in name, interview. Your name. You said my name. Oh, Lee. Lee, Lee, Lee. Okay, go ahead. Lee. Okay. Lee. 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 Yeah, I would okay. So here's the thing. Um, I think that it it's it's according to your love language as well, because some people um so, some and especially with this generation is a lot of microwave stuff like me want it no me want it no me want it no a lot of people would rather speak to you like facetime you but then sometimes you're not altogether pretty and all these things for you to do the facetime so then you shoot a quick text on them something there but the texting takes so long and the texting does not convey it might not convey the right message. You see what I'm mean, saying? Because you, I might just be like, hi, beautiful, Ray, 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 and you might take it a different way, yeah. depending on how he or she is 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 is, is doing it. Yeah. So the texting can be tricky and sticky. Whereas the phone call, if you just talk to the brethren without the video situation, because we don't have on the lashes and all these things, then you can at least speak and hear the, the 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 energy yeah. and in there the you voice. go you might hear an energy that you think is a bad energy when miscommunication again so anyway you take it texting face to face upon the phone come back to the one point the thing about it is you have to just know how to communicate you have to figure out how the person receives messages and you go from there kind of like love language right so kind of like not, love language is how texting man alone like love languages acts of service and them something there. acts of service uh what is it affirmations that kind of thing it, like chris what, do you know it, your love language it's gifts it's physical touch gifts uh huh. It's service. words of affirmation. It's service. It's right. Affirmation and it's quality. affirmation and it's quality time. Right. Hold on, people. Quality Hold time. on one second. Kind of define the love language thing. Now it's not everybody on this little part, you know. Come in never in love yet, you know. So me not even know about the language part. So be careful. Look, 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 all right. 
Mary Gilly benefit of the doubt. Love language is how you receive love, how you feel like, how you feel the best loved, the best way loved. Like, for example, um, I can, if me and your day, I can cook your breakfast and you're like, and bring it to you in bed. And that's acts of service. And you say, Lord have mercy, Lee, hook me up this morning. Me feel loved and all these things. As well as you could say, oh my God, Lee, you look so beautiful today, Ray, Ray, Ray. Okay, that's, or you did a very good job, whatever, whatever. That is you telling me whatever. So it's however I receive love. And however you give it. Okay. You get what I'm saying? I get to know and clear, man, but guess what? I, I am on a different look apart. I do care, hoping that it turn into love. I am at care. I never reach a love yet. So you see, we're in a problem now. I don't even know if I can. Why is it that? Because we're not killing nobody I care about you. Love is serious something I talk about in my book. So tell me something. If me ask you if me I go do a surgery and I need one of your kidney, you go give me it? Depends. Depends on one of love winner, ma'am. If you're in love. Mm? We in love. I mean, it depends. No, man. I might not even that. necessarily be and in love. I might. My book. Just because I'm not getting the kidney, then? Just you. because I'm not getting the kidney. Don't with you. I'm not getting the kidney. Come dead, God. Would you give me your kidney? You're mad. <laughs> See there? <laughs> See there? See there? Right true. See there? I am not See in me. love. I tell you, I never reach love yet, Mr. Pakir. You know, sir, uh, men are so well, damn well, well, simple. Well, 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 not ignore. D Y M three Z underscore M five says, with how society is too, a lot of times with working, there's no time to be on the phone talking, but you can sneak in a little text more while. Right, but that's that. But that's not when you. That's when you're maintaining your relationship. It's not when you are getting to know someone. Yeah. That's true. Exactly. I agree with you, Mrs. Sister. I agree with you about that one day. That is when you just, yeah, you know, yeah, make sure set the fire still on and it has sizzle. It has simmer. You don't want the fire lock off yet, but you want the love to continue simmering. I get it. I get it. I true. I true. I you need to shoot it. Something. Because nowadays, oh, uh, yeah. what's go well, not nowadays, this has been happening, you know, this is why when I ask, this is why women have to be res not reserved. You can still be yourself. But what I'm saying mm. is, if you out at the barbecue, you look nice, you go in, you see a guy, he's by himself, you don't know his situation, right? Mm. There's, there's probably one guy and five women, right? Five. Mm -hmm. It's it's ultimately his choice. When you got push in and push up, he can. Well, well on, 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 well on. Him can talk to you because you're easy, but he really did have him eye on the next one. Well on, well on. That is why we have a problem with the girl and what we call side chick. The girl and push in. You swear you are upon you. The girl push in our thing. You have to push in your thing. Chris, where you find that money from? But <laughs> then, <laughs> but right then, away, the, but right then the away, thing of it hold is... On, hold on. Right away, you classify the girl who made her move as a girl who push in her thing. And the man I look upon somebody else. Oh, you don't know if a she hit the spot. You see her life funny now? The man All right, but then... Come and she, but then come she's and a, a favor. No, she's a girl who push she, in. But she's the same. She's the same female who would probably end up being labeled or titled as the freak. She too aggressive. She too thirsty. She too hungry. Let me give those her one slap and send her on her way. Those girls Boom. don't care. I beg your pardon. <laughs> if people are worried about them, right? them all right. <laughs> I find those girls all right. You find those girls yeah, all right. To stop so you will wipe up hold one on. of those girls. Maybe, maybe. Hold on. I find the society gone way, way wrong. People like Kim Kardashian, the man them just line up. Everybody says she's this thing. 
all of her relationship is fear man them. She with them for the time and she's this big hoe. Explain it to me. And the people them that married it not working out. Question. Yes. The same chick that is aggressive and is pushing her way through. Would you wife a pushing through girl? Sometimes we need a push in her. Sometimes we need Would you wife her though? Yeah, man. Sometimes we need a push in her. Stop things say. Eh? Yes, when the man them try control woman who have a problem. You you can't kick in one door one time. You just a wait for man kick in all of your door, ma'am. I think that's where the balance come in. You can't say you want this position in society as woman and redefine woman and you're playing the game the same way. Sometimes you have to put on your man cap. That's the problem. That is the problem. That is the problem nowadays. And this is why men... They already what? say you guys are getting you masculine. So might as well just um, walk with the crowd. What did Justin say? What John. Justin say, baby? Oh. Chris, read it, read it again. Justin, which one is that? The initial... What we yeah, the with? first... Yeah, what you say? Men, Men are aren't not, obsessed with women anymore, and it's this weird. This is why they're not obsessed, because too much pushing. Uh, yeah, yeah. You understand? Them obsessed with the pushing. Uh. No, they're not. Oh, yeah? So what do you what do you call, like, those... Uh, when you go to the strip club and those girls that we just spend hundreds on, what, what you call them? They went there for the night. They yeah, but for the night. That yeah, was, but they that left. Was, but that but was they exciting. left home. But we left home to go there. You going back home? Yeah, to 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 turn our backs to the woman, and you don't know where the dead so. And we now the money figure, cause we done it out for the girl. Me no wanna come back home there for me like you. I put me, I put you out, sir. What my, is it about the pushing girl so that interests you? Home. You, you pick up your things and motor door. Now let me find out. What is it about the pushing girl that interests you so much? No, it's not since you interest, are so fit. It's not an interest, but I find that people label these girls. That is why women are afraid to approach men. If you approach men, it comes like you're wrong. Everybody are waiting for men to approach them and the game change. And so if a woman approaches you, you have no prop you will not automatically think, okay, I can slap where she very easy and keep it moving. Exactly. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Exactly. Hold on, hold on. Forget about what I think. Yes, you showed your interest in him, right? What is the next step? How how him have a swiss you were quick? What did you do for him to box you away quick? You say you're interested in him and you guys are moving to the next level. When him do me make your box to the to the curb? If you wanna sleep with a man quick, oh you feel like your box to the curb. Excuse me? Excuse me. Let me let me correct you. Okay. Mm -hmm. Because we women cannot change a man's mentality. Okay? Yes, you can. Whether you can whether, sometimes excuse me. Whether he want if whatever he wants. That's what he wants. And we're not here to change their minds. Sometimes minds can be changed. But that goes. I'm gonna tell you I'm gonna tell you a little story. Back in the days, back in the days I used to work at a restaurant when I was somebody else is on? No. Somebody I think Lee 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 went off a little bit. Somebody I'm sorry in. and was to do Go something ahead, sorry sorry so back in the days i met someone i was around 22 23 and this person we used to talk because we always you know i was serving his food it was an african restaurant and he was very respectful to me anyway lo and behold me and i asked him for a favor and he did the favor for me I asked him to borrow money. And I, when I went to pay him back, he said, I don't want it. But I'm, it's nice to know what type of woman you are. So then he offered to take me out. 
I'm going to say this. We met, and then all of a sudden, you know him, do? Me and him get together, and we sleep or whatever. You know, so the man tell me, say, he never did a plan for keep me, but him keep me after him get it, because it was pleasing. Okay. He started to 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 gravitate to me as a as a person. It wasn't just about that. It was everything all together. So sometimes what you plan for, it might not go that way. Sometimes. But you have, say, particular men that go to parties. A lot of men that go to parties, they some of them don't want to touch none of the dance hall girls. Some of them go there because they're going to go, that's what they're going to look for. So it just depends on the person and what they're looking for. But Men are the hunters, sir. Men are hunters. I, I will leave you with your opinion. That's not an opinion. That's a fact. Okay. I can't prove it, baby. So all them women, they will mind the man. They're going to look them. What you call that? Oh, Jesus. Because they're my own. No. How that work if man are the hunter? So, all right. So on that note, let me see. There's a question right here. Big Clef. Big Clef, really? That's not a question. Um, <laughs> you see what John just started up in a chat? No, Joe. Um, what are the roles, the gender roles in a relationship then? What are the roles? So you're in, so you're in a relationship now. We're past the sex, the, the, I mean sexting. Sexting, that's fine. We're past the texting stage and we're in a relationship now. What are the roles of each gender in that relationship? Anybody can start. What is your role? So according to planned this website here, gender roles in society means how we're expected to act, speak, dress, groom, and conduct ourselves based on our assigned sex. That's an interesting way of putting it, an assigned sex. But anyway, for example, girls and women are generally expected to dress in typically feminine ways and to be polite accommodating and nurturing what is the gender role because as we've seen the paradigm has definitely shift, shifted and women are now taking on more masculine roles some men are taking on more feminine roles what is what you, is the role I'm, of a woman I'm gonna, versus the role of a man i'm gonna push the vori i'd love to hear what you have to say <laughs> It, we, you're in a relationship. What, what is it that you expect, as they call it, bring to the table? This is the table I think is a table. This is the only table I think is the table. This is the big table now. Okay, so let me say... What are your roles? This can be, okay, separated. Because when you're in your 20s and when you're in your, you know, 30s or 40s, you're bringing, you have, remember say, you probably have your own at table already. Okay? Interesting. Okay, so if you have your own table, like myself, and you're inviting me to your table. Me you not on a table. Me not on a table. <laughs> and you have your. So, just laugh. This is how he is. Just laugh. <laughs> if you invited me to your table so why you I'm, why me have invited you? you you have a table why you could invite me when i'm on a table you're going back to the same thing where i wait for the man to invite you to the same table okay, where so that, have. that means we're not equally yoked okay but devore before me get from my view on the road devore some of me guys nobody beat me up but may i tell you the truth you yeah, are the 100, the man, them are the 10. So, I mean, you know, oh, you expect to come for the man. Okay, so I'm going to be honest with you. I don't mind letting you come to sit at my table. Mm -hmm. But when we start bill, right, and I invite you to my table and say to you, okay, this is how we're going to operate. Because if we're in a relationship, we're not just here for sex. We're doing things together. We're traveling together. We're like that. Have, we're having mm -hmm. a life together. We're we're co we 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 riding. We riding. Mm -hmm. Co pilots. Yeah. Like okay, that. Okay. So guess mm -hmm. what? 
Make sure when you come on my table, you know. <laughs> me not go fast and see you one next girl table after me over your bill with you. Before me not there nobody table. Like you're one alone me there. What are your roles? <laughs> What you mean, me, what is my me role? soon tell you my one. Me at your table now. What are the roles? The question is, what is the roles? What well, obviously the gender I'm, roles? Well, but that's not gonna happen with I'm the provider. All right, it, here I know you're your turn provider. If I, if I'm, me if like that one. Came to my table to eat, so now you are the provider. What? So I can mean, I have? Let me see here. Hold on, hold on. You hold have on. to tell me what you want to bring to the table. <laughs> hold on, um, hold on. Devore is the provider, so right now I want a nice shoes, Devore. Hold on, hold on, hold on, John. So Jolly <laughs> Little Traveler says the roles are determined by the people in the relationship and roles shouldn't be assigned by gender. It's 2022. <clears throat> Stepas Sandals J.A. says it's all down to personal preference, I suppose. Um... Virgo lady says it varies. But what does it vary? What does it depend on? What does that variation depend upon? Um, Virgo lady, expound on that. All right. Um, well, Virgo please. lady, I come true. Mm -hmm. I like I like those responses, and I like how divorce says she's now the provider. So catch me now, come in now with my beggy beggy self, and I look <laughs> something. So divorce, <laughs> divorce. You know, have to realize that you start a relationship with somebody that is not at your level, right? So you expect but, a, but, hold on, hold on, Devore. So you even claim yourself as provider. Can oh you be quiet? What am I providing? Hold on, Devore. You say a provider. Hold on. Okay. You say you're a provider. So hear me come yeah. now with my little big, big zoom, zoom, zam, zam. Devore. There are guys, there are females, there are males who come in on somebody who have the table. And we now have no table. And we work our way up. We patch up one leg at the table. And we take time work our way up. But there are some people who come and they go mash up a the table. Then I have not, not a nail for you. So I say that to say you can meet people who don't not at your level and it work up. So that that brings us back to the point. There's no role here. You know what you take on and know what you're looking for. You, okay, take, so on, what you take up the man when now I'm not table and you decide you're going to provide for him. But you must have an aim, a goal, where you want out of him, what you want from him. Guess what I go. provided? But, but guess what I provided for him? Guess what I provided what? for him? Because you see, I, I have a great network. So there's no excuse for you not to do so and so and so and so. Because I what is this so and so? Hold on. Okay, I don't introduce you to the person you you must know how to do a trade no sir i don't know mama i don't know i'm sorry sir i'm not taking up nobody when i know if i do nothing there you go but i went in reach i go find out <laughs> that time you don't <laughs> give my shoes already no nothing nothing about, sir. The but you're a provider are we a provider i provided you with the information for a job sir <laughs> <laughs> All right, so Big Kev says one of the main things women Lee, you see where I'm getting at? Huh? Lee. I mean, yeah. hold on, hold on. Hold I on. mean, is, I, I, Big Kev I'm says, feeling this is what is happening things, in the real world. One of the main things women respect over time in a relationship is emotional intelligence, emotional availability, and some sense of financial security. Absolutely, absolutely. Can we put him on? Put it. Let's put him on. Can we? But, big but Christina, Christina they make the emotional part get over the, the stability part. From the guy of the emotion, you now have to come with a dollar. Can you give the emotion? Listen, no, no, no. Emotional support is. All right. You know, some people Lee, want your pleasure Lee, and I'm gonna don't remove, want your pain. Lee, Lee, I'm going to remove you from the chat, and then I'm going to attempt to add big clip. Lee, right. nice give me one Thank second. You, Lee. Lee, Lee, have a comment. Can you give? Oh, Lee, I have a comment. I just have one, one, one little thing. I just wanted to plug something really quick. Shameless plug. I know, but sure. Where you go, though? Go ahead. Um, please, please look for my book. It's called Figures by Lee St. James. Okay. It's on Amazon. Congratulations. Please go get it. 
Thank you so much. On a, on a, on a screenshot yet? Yeah, we see it. On the we next show. On a, on a shot yet? The name okay, clear to we. Big Clef says. Oi? The Big name is Clef clear. Gotcha. Says, Thank you. I can't go live. My wives yeah, will fire me. Okay. 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 And check your, 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 check your email, um, you girl. I mean, your, your DMs, yes, I Chris. Will. I will, I will, I will. Thank, you, love. Thank you, love. Thank you, love. Who will fire? Thank you, love. Who will fire All the right, man? So Big Clef says he can't go live because his wives will, will fire him. Okay, Papa. Are you the perfect person to come on live He right said now? wives? No, you said There you go. Perfect. He said wives. But no, Chris, 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 right Chris, back up. What was his comment before you know that he have wives? That's what he said. No, That's before. What, what was the comment before? Um, His comment was, one of the main things women respect over time in a relationship is emotional intelligence, emotional availability, and some sense of financial security. The man masters one of them three years, can have wives. I love to hear from him too. I would love to hear from him. I would love you don't have to put your face on. I just need to hear what you gotta say. <laughs> the man <laughs> wise, the man gonna fire him. You think you think him, him can deal with that? He's at the wives them table. And Hello? on that note, on that note, let us move into this this topic now. Men will live a double life and be with you every day. Men will live a double life but yet still be with you every day. What you is see? your take on that? That's why, as long as you know, no, 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 John, no, 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 I disagree with you. No, no, you want my opinion, I just give you mine. Wow, so wow. Mine, that, was mine. that was a trigger. Look, 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 <laughs> look, woman, do the same thing, double lives. I have some people joining me, living a life of duality. D Y. that was the reason why I just said, woman, do the same thing. Hold on, hold on. That's the boy said, why I broke up with the person who I was dealing with in 2020. Because a double life is okay, some are some hide it and some don't hide it. You understand? Yeah. And when you Which one do you prefer? I I don't prefer any. Okay, so I, double life across the board. Choose, if I had to choose, I'm, I'm not going to have to choose. What I'm going to say is this. All right. I've been in, I've been in, I'm going to be honest. Back in the days, I've been in both realms. Because I remember, you know, I, need to know, I right? remember, I remember being cheated on and I remember the feeling. And after I was finished, I did not, I did not want to be cheated on anymore. And I met someone who really they had their person and they had their issues but our relationship was like a friendship lover relationship and it was nice for the time however when mother's day come when easter come when Chris, when christmas come when valentine's time they come ain't no money could help you right then and there you're alone so I'm going to accept say, said that for a little while. That, for that period, of, I, I had, I experienced it. Okay. You know, but Experience and it, accept. I didn't accept it because I left. After a while, you left. But they make it go on for a little bit, man. Okay. Because I know the feeling of being cheated on and it's not a good feeling. Yeah, so tell me something now. How, how would the guy know that? This thing can't go on. You know, and you're still seeing the guy. Oh, do, when does he realize that he needs to respect you in a certain manner and you're not that girl that he played this game with? If you go back and you know him of another girl. I never went back. The, the one time you find out it's over. No, 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 no. The, okay, it's two separate relationships. One of them was from way back in the 90s. No, oh, early 2000s, sorry. And the next one was recently. And when I, but I still did not catch this man red handed. But the way my move, in my move, murky, you understand? Then so you know, catch him, I make him murky, move, make it us, don't you think so? 
Yeah. Boy, is a psychic. I'm, anyway, I know Chris, we have some comments. Hold on. Um, you know what I'm bringing to the table. You understand? Right. He knows what I'm bringing to the table. That's why sometimes my phone will still ring. D-Y-M-3. You're not blocking him. Still have your phone number? All right, hold on, guys. D-Y-M-3-Z underscore M5 says, the thing is women always say man do this, man do that, and truth be told, they do the same very things that they blame man for. Is that with regards to cheating is what I want to know because I hear, and let me read something that I found on Quora.com. Um, the question was basically with regards to cheating. Um, this person is a random individual. You know, Quora.com. People just go there and just share their opinions and so on. So this guy says, because we found out about the female nature. So the question was, why don't men value women like they used to, right? The first question. Because we found out about true, about true female nature through YouTube, social media, other men and just plain recognizing all their tricks, we learned that, that what they do, we now understand how all the laws are in favor of women in every kind of way against us men. We know how we are truly just sharing women because they have several side dudes they are finessing for attention, money, gifts, etc. So there is nothing to pursue. Why pursue something that's just being passed around? Like they say, she's not yours, it's just your turn. What do you think about that comment? Because it, it kind of ties into what my guy said earlier. The thing is, women always say, man do this, man do that. And truth be told, they do the same thing. Very, Somebody same want to join thing. with you, Christina. Go ahead. Let's say this. The guy who, want, who couldn't join at the time, he's yeah. ready. Oh, he's ready? Hold on, let me see here. <clears throat> I don't see a request. Was it Dove? Was it Dove? Maybe you, yeah, maybe you need to request him. What was it again? What was the name again? Um... Something dove. What was the first part of it? Arc Arc Dove? Arc Sean Dove? Yeah, let me put it. Yeah. Alright. Arc Sean Dove. Arc Sean Dove. Okay, here it is. Alright, so I send the invite. So it's just for him now to accept that invite. So I think we are we are dually doing the same thing. We are guilty of the same thing. Can that, I just that article is a big stereotype, but we are guilty of the same thing. I'm On different say this, levels, though. Go ahead. Just, just to say this real quickly. I feel that a lot of women, I go to hairdressers, nail salons, meet women in my old, you know, my old job. And a lot of women, especially the younger ones, they say, you know what? They don't trust men anymore so what they do now is say okay i'm gonna talk to this person and i'm gonna see what's in it for me and if i can't get what i want i am not gonna deal with them or i'll deal with several different men to try to get what i want because no one is being serious and they don't trust anyone so therefore they carry on this way and that's how they, they, they have keep kept their power. That's a cheater. That's a cheater. But that's what they're doing because they figure, they, they see that they have friends that have a man, oh, just one person, and they get cheated on and how their friend goes through this or they've been through it. Don't themselves. use people's life to my parents. So my brother, I'm joining. Good night, brother. All right, welcome, Dove. Hey. Can you can you flip your camera? Okay. Thank you. Welcome. Introduce yourself to the people. Do have somebody say a cute? So right, there's a somebody text in. Me tell them it's a text at work. <laughs> Do have somebody text in? So go and text that privately in the meantime. Uh, I'll check it out. I'll check it out in a bit. I'm a bit under the weather, so I may sound like a little bit off. Okay. Okay. Thank you. So. You wanted to, you wanted to find out more about uh, what I meant about the man and woman. Yeah, you had mentioned that earlier. I don't remember the exact quote, but you had said that the 
womb must gravitate towards the seed, I think is what you had said. Yeah. So basically, you got to get to the root of the interaction. So first, the basics, uh, the interaction of man and womb can be spiritual, it can be mental, and it can be physical, right? So this means that a man can impregnate a womb physically, spiritually, or mentally. And the same for a womb can uh, nurture uh, life physically, spiritually, and mentally. So basically, the man supplies the seeds of life into the womb, and the womb nurtures the seeds of life until it bears fruits. Okay? So until you have, until, if, until you have the basics, then there, there could be problems at any time. So we have brother so, B, the man has got us sex to one physically and plant the seed before as one of the basics? Well, well no, you got to look into your heart. Today? You got to look, look into your heart. As as if you're a man, you gotta look into your heart. Not even extra machine. He got a Arthur. stone heart. I'm so sorry. His heart is made of stone. Them Archie can't see. A beer physical well, seed plant in Aguania. So beer physical seed see, plant. Me don't know about them okay. mental you seed gotta plant in your hand. How much seed plant? A one gotta, plant me know when you plant it physically. So you have to whatever, come okay, so that's if what's you're, wrong with society because of men are just uh, just everything is about the flesh, and it's more. You ever hear? You ever you ever hear a woman tell you that you're not connected with her mentally, or you're not connected with her spiritually? Right. It's it's your connection with her is on multiple levels. So if you have, you know, if you got like a yeah, but normally when in my experience, when somebody say that. Are the physical partner go on and them are twist it up in a mental and spiritual and all yeah, that. So, no, no sex now. That could be no, it. I don't agree. That no, could no, be no. It. My, my experience. He, my I feel experience. Like I what, my experience. I feel like I get what he's saying because the sex can be there, but em so you're, you're just miss... not emotionally connected. Like, you can have a relationship based on just sex alone. Right. The person has no give an example. two people yeah, give an example. and they together. want to, people at sex and they want to feel like they're in love. So you're saying, oh, I don't feel like you connected with me. You're getting on the sex already. It, there was no connection from the get-go. It uh, was a physical All right, I'll one. give you an example. Physically, physically. I'll give you an example away from the whole, uh, you know, relationship scene. How many people do you think have a good paid job but really don't like their work? A lot of people lot of have people. a good paid job a lot of and they don't like their work. But why do they do it? Because of the physical, right? But when they're sitting there mentally... They're not into it, but physically they feel like they need it. That's how it is sometimes with a woman, with a womb, she's sticking with the guy because she feels like she needs him to protect her. She needs him like, you know, to put money in her pocket, but she's not there with him, connected with him mentally. Right. And the same thing with, uh, you know, spiritually, right. Even if uh, you, you put two and two together, you're like, we look good on paper. That's the mental part, but there's something wrong with how we're feeling. You see what I'm saying? So what you got to do, you got to take things back to the basics of the root of the interaction is that I'm a man, I'm going to provide seeds, and I can basically impregnate you mentally, physically, and spiritually. That's how you know that you get into a real union because the, the, the womb is not trying to look anywhere else. She's thinking about you. She's feeling your spirit. And so it makes her even want to feel you physically better. I like your right? conversation. Now obviously, it could happen the other way around. Not to cut you, but I love the conversation. I, yeah. I work in fashion somewhat, and this bridal place closing down. So, um, me no know of them union are really a guan. So, give me a little example of how you plant a spiritual seed or one of them up brain one day. He's going to uh, support her. <coughs> Hold on, hold on, yeah, hold on. <laughs> well, I mean, for a, for a spiritual physical. See what I mean? Go ahead. It, look, it could be physical. It could be physical. You may look at her, and you may, you may, you may like her physique, right? Like a no, girl man, can no, look at you. No, no, take the physical. Go straight back you to are the spiritual. spiritual, sir. I eat spiritual. Spiritual. Okay, tell so, them most time them I try okay. to get spiritual, and it reach a physical. Uh -huh. And that's why pastor daughter always get in trouble. Yeah. Go for it's, spiritual it's, and reach physical. Back to you, sir. Uh, what I'm trying to say is that the interaction is physical, spiritual, and mental. 
It's 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 so all three things compiled. I need an example of a of a okay, mentor. So you're gonna start so cutting your it if you want. You are not cutting it. I need an example of a mental seed planting and a spiritual seed planting. Do not use okay, the word so physical. Okay, so that to me. Let's say that you read a Robert's novel, right? You're a couple. You decide to read the same Robert's novel every night before you go to bed. Oh my God, that would never happen. That? Sorry. Oh, wait, okay, but <laughs> what? Now go up and plant up this though. Okay, okay but, but if something, you were, oh, or, wait a minute, or, hold on. I'm so sorry. Something very simpler. It could be you and them are going to watch this movie on Netflix together and talk about that movie. Yeah. That's exactly. Yeah. Exactly. My girl, exactly. My girl, be in a Netflix thing, you know. <laughs> my girl, me now in a Netflix tonight with you. So what I see, they have a plant. Okay. So then, or you could uh, see the dance floor, right? You're the dance floor with the girl. Uh, you know, fit it for Chris because she's like, you know, really good dancer. But you're the dance floor with the girl, right? But if you're if you're doing let's say a slow dance, right, or or something like that, right, but you you you, you kind of gravitate towards somebody more than physically, you can kind of sense the spirit, right, and this doesn't have to be your first date. It could be like your second, third, or fourth date where you feel like you want to hang out or you want to vibe with the person. Let's start. Let's start. Let's pay attention to the fact that we could vibe or we can feel people, whether you know whether it's a business relationship, whether it is a a you know spiritual relationship or whether it's a intimate relationship you can feel the vibe you know whether it's strong or whether it's just physical you can Not feel if it's physical you, you, feel... you know i like Go ahead. you know i like your combination this is perfect combination for marriage what combination a combination for marriage i it may I try work fine but the people them go physical first and then i try to get to them other one, yeah. I eat high problem with yeah, you know, yeah. we got physical it, it first. happens a lot. It happens a so lot. When we got, it happens which a lot. one we get first? Cause when the physical comes to first, be honest, I eat high big one. To be honest, the first thing that you notice likely could be ninety percent of the time is someone's physical um, you know, looks, how they dress or something like that, right? But you gotta get to know the person after. How many times have, have people like we know we it. We know how we it. Okay. So it all depends. It all depends on what do you want do you wanna do you wanna have like a, a lot of interactions that get cut off or you wanna have interactions that could last? We want married and we still are in a fast up and we want married. We want ah, to marry and we still are go fast. Me know we are gonna get help. Okay. Well, I mean, I'm in the same boat. Because me not going to wed you. Nobody not married. I'm in the same boat. I'm still looking for the right person. There we go. But, wow. The, the, but, hold on, hold on, hold on there. People, people, remember the person takes you in a mind up for your chance. Huh? It's, remember that somebody takes you on the live. Mine, I hear a little good luck this. Did you message that person? Because right, this no. I, want, I want spiritual connection. Because you're not CR, yeah. so it's a real physical. So that, that my light apart there. You missed the text? Declan. The person who sent in the text said the man cute, sent in back the text now. Because the man ready and available. You wanted to know if him single seems set there now? Big Clef says. I didn't say, this I, didn't say I was single. I said. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Big Clef says this guy is a troublemaker. I think he's referring to you, John. Hold on. Um, the Me not mind the trouble. Hold on. The gentleman say he never say he's single. But he says he's looking. Wait, explain yourself. No, I'm saying that as you're talking about marriage. Who right? You're talking that? about marriage. He, he says he's looking for, for somebody to marry. Am I right? No, I'm That's saying like I haven't I've, I've reached that level yet. That's what oh, I'm saying. I haven't reached a level of competitiveness. Uh, do you well, I mean, you said you're in the you're you all going through the same thing, right? So no, I talk still, for as me. Far as, talk for me, and anybody else I'm still looking for. Me. I'm still looking for the right companion. I'm not gonna mess around. If I it's, not look for no right hold nobody. On, I work with where I get. One minute, John. John shop. Don't lock. Love me. lock up your shop, John. Look all right, the shop lock. Uh, One. The, the... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, My <laughs> question to you is, how how are you? looking are you looking with your eyes <laughs> um i'm looking with uh 
pretty much everything. Like, I, I, don't get me wrong. Like, I've had like you know quite a few, you know, relationships or interaction with women. But uh, okay, it's not just about look. You know, like it's not it's not about looks. It could be. I mean, you have to ensure that you have like a spiritual and physical connection with her. That's why I I, I uh, follow the the philosophy of man and womb, where if you want it to last, you have to be. The womb has you have to be supplying the womb in a way that she is automatically gravitated towards you. Okay. Because I'm, until she's gravitated towards you, she's gonna be doing whatever else that 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 could get her attention. And the same thing for the man. If the man isn't supplying you with what you need in your womb, he's gonna be doing whatever else anywhere else. That, so if no, you're, you, I know you end up chasing, metaphorical. I know that's metaphorical. Uh -huh. but is that is that literally referring to like a woman? Therefore reaching out to you approaching you which is what we're basically talking about in the beginning so is it that you're yes. waiting on somebody to yes. approach you're waiting on a woman to approach you then no 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 if i see the woman and if i it, it when you're dealing with like you know the man of the woman who's carrying the seeds right if the, if the woman is carrying your seeds you have to approach her so but if, as a wolf, hold on. Sorry, if, sir. as a wolf, so woman you, can't as, approach you. you have to approach her no no hold no, on, hold on. let me finish that let me see the woman can't no no let me her. finish Hold on. Let me finish saying what I'm saying. The womb, right, is supposed to, the womb, if she knows that you're, that she's carried your seeds, she's supposed to approach you. And, and, and in a way that you get that she's saying that there's some sort of connection between the two of you. Hold on, hold on. My right? So it could be either way. It could be either way. Divorce. Divorce. If you know you carry one man, seed, go make the man know so you have him seed. Exactly. You tell him, say, you know, you, you tell him, say, man, you know, you have something or whatever, waiting. right? If you know you have him seed, you can come and approach him. Yeah. <laughs> right? Jesus but Oman, you have to find, you have to find, you have to find, hold on. But you have to find, you have to find, you have to find a, a tasteful <laughs> way to approach him, right? Like, how would you like to be approached? Well, Andy, can I get you right in line? Good question. I like that question. Answer that one. What is an acceptable way of approaching you, sir? She knows she have the seed in her womb for you, and she want to head out on it. Uh, Man. Have whichever way she chooses. No, 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 no. no. <laughs> you have your standards for how she feels approach, because you give it a little. You have your, you have your way or you want it for happen. So, I'll figure out, I'll figure out, I'll figure everything about, I'll figure out if, you know, how she approaches me. I figured a lot about her. Yeah, but, but she's got to approach so, me. Give me an example of how somebody have approached you. Anybody approach you before? Everybody's always approached me in a reasonable way. You know, wow. so I don't... You're lucky, boy. I mean, girls, yeah, girls have approached me oh, before. Them but not, how like, them do it? How them know? How them, how them, how them, how them tell them I've the seed? Yes, mm. my dear? Sometimes on, Sometimes man. a woman only has a smile, right? What do they do? Sometimes a woman only has to smile at you, right? Don't worry here. We're going to smile. 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 Quinta, yay. Smile. <laughs> oh. I told her she can approach man Listen by quenching her eye and dropping pen and them something there. She yeah. never hear exactly. me. See exactly. man, I Listen. come now. Exactly. Listen what I'm saying. I'm not saying that you can't smile. <laughs> right? I never said that. But I'm going to come up to a gentleman and say... And, and and just being being inquisitive, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm not going to do it. So my question, so because the man ultimately is going to choose who he wants. Answer this that. Young, this is what she believes. That's why she do young, approach. This young man here has a good looking. He's he's smart. I don't know what his occupation is. I'm quite sure it's easy for him to meet someone. But it's about the energy. Which like guy said. we're talking? <clears throat> Not you, John. This <laughs> gentleman here. <laughs> this gentleman here said auction, hard. Auction dove. Why are we so savage? This gentleman here dove. said hard to meet people. So make sure you know we are talk. No. Oh, it's 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 not, it's, it's not the easiest the person thing. With it's the not me not because you meet someone means that that's the person for you because if there's no chemistry if there's no intellect if there's if they're not on the same page at the moment it's not gonna work 
right. exactly I mean, so jolly jolly underscore little traveler says why can't we just treat people as human beings first instead of these ridiculous rules limited by gender it really lacks imagination and limits both men and women he agrees with that person <laughs> Jolly Big says, "If you a man who's always waiting for women to approach, that ain't right. I don't know what P stands for. I'm wasn't right. That ain't right. If you're a man who's oh, always waiting for women to approach, that ain't right. You're, you're supposed to approach. If 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 you feel a girl, if you feel a wolf is carried for you, and if she's spiritually on the same vibration, you gotta approach her. And the same thing for the wolf." Like this whole waited around thing, it doesn't make sense if you know that you have a connection. If you don't know, then why force it, right? But I'm going to ask you a question. Do you feel that you can meet someone on Instagram? Like, yeah. Do you, okay, you can meet so, someone but, anywhere. No, no, hold on. But when you meet them on Instagram and you inbox them, aren't you going to want to speak to them? Are you going to be texting them? How long can you text them for? Your initial meeting Look. might be, hi. What you telling the man what he's doing? The I man think, said work. I'm, excuse me, I'm asking him a question. <laughs> I think uh, I think that people overthink things. That's that's like you just gotta feel it out. You gotta you gotta go with the vibe, you just feel it out. Like why why do you need to have like one day, two days, one week? You know? Call her up right away. Talk to her. You know, if you're busy, then, then why rush it? Like you just feel the vibe. I don't see the point to, to why wait? You know, just go with the vibe of, of what feels the most natural as far as the progression. Do you feel that IG is natural? I feel that it's uh, it's mostly a one-way medium. But um, like anything else, you could get in touch with people. Like you could, you never know. Like I, this is like the first time, this is my first conversation with Chris, right? Sometimes. I've been seeing her for, for a while, but it's my first convo with her. Hey, Chris, what's up, buddy? <laughs> Say hi sometimes. Eh? Some Say hi sometimes. When you meet them, first of all, on IG, people are filtered, not only the pictures, but who they are. Not when you all see, the time. Me not excuse the me, John. You're going to finish me. Come, me I come for your book, you know. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> When you see Chris and you hear her talking, you don't mm -hmm. know her. Well, we know her because of her dancing. But some people would see a dancer and not know that she's intellectual in this way or she's sassy in that you think way. So? She's a deep you think so? way. You can't, you can't, you, unless people come out and start talking like how we have in the live, you're not going to get to know their personality. No, he said you can't. Can know, you can know the things they like to do, the clothes they like to wear, pictures and things of this nature. It's only what they're showing you. And people only show what they want to see. Um, as far as, okay, I'll give you a perfect example. Like, as far as Chris, I think that, like, uh, even though, like, I've, I've only seen her dance, and, like, I mean, I have, like, a good, I have a good vibe of the type of person that she is. This didn't come overnight. You saw this. No, it didn't come overnight. It's something that's probably, probably from uh maybe, I don't know. Like for me, whatever, I, whatever I have like any type of thoughts about women or whatever the case is, I look for a vibration because if you're ever gravitated towards any type of woman, it's because of like a vibration from a while back or from a long time ago. So, if you plant a seed. The day of harvest may not be right away. So when a woman comes into your life or when a man comes into your life, it's something that takes uh that it's it's a seed that you planted it maybe a year ago, it may be five years ago. It could have been ten years ago you planted the seed to meet somebody, but then finally the person comes around and is now into your now into your life, right? Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. I hear you. <laughs> <laughs> I see you now. Where are you? Where are you located? Uh, right now in Toronto. But uh. Oh, you're in Canada. Yeah, but I used to live. In, I used to live in Florida. I used to live in Miami. So. Okay. Born in Jamaica, though. Born in Jamaica, of course. Born in Jamaica. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So, 
I don't figure you out already, but okay, I get it. You figure me out? Yeah. Okay, so tell me more about me then. Here we go. <laughs> tell me more. Tell the man about himself. Simple. You like Chris. You like huh? her. You just love. You love. You love she. You love her dancing. You know what she can provide. You know how she is as a person and the person who you would like. If she was like Chris, you would love that. Period. Uh, let's just say that uh, I think that uh, Chris is an interesting person. Um, the dancing is the last thing that I see about her. Hey, why you lie? So, That's not huh? cool. I don't lie. Okay. I don't care. I don't lie to no one. So I don't. I don't lie to no woman. I don't lie to a man. I no, tell no. everybody the truth. No, no. I'm sorry. You're not lying. I'm sorry. Let me let me oh. take that back. You, I believe because dancing is who she is. Not who she is, but that's like a large percentage of how people know. Who she is. I think that's what she enjoys to do. I don't define it as what as who she is. No, no, but it's a part of her. So if you know someone is can is a chef or it's your whatever you do as a hobby or a job, it's a part of you and she does it very well. Oh very good, very well, very well. Uh and then we don't talk. Hello, no. hello, hello, hello. One little right, point at you. Um... Remember, this man have some spiritual thing with my work on. So, under the right. physical man, see. Right. We're going to come back to the man thing, the man. Right, exactly. You see, only not hear when going? people Where talk. Right, and judging so the man. Topic. Moving on, the next topic. Um, mm -hmm. The next topic is modern men are losing because we can't use you. This was this is a quote by Kevin Samuels, and when he says using, he was referring to uh, network education and income. So Kevin Samuels is like all the rave now. Like all the men are talking about Kevin Samuels, saying like you know you need to listen to him. He's dropping all kind of gems and so on. What is your take on Kevin Samuels' quote? Modern men are losing because we can't use you. And this is open to everybody, not just the persons who are on the live right now. When they say uh, use you, define you. Who is the you? Use you. Okay. Modern women are losing because we, the men, can't use you, the woman. And when he says use, he was referring to in terms of your networking, your education, your income. And then he went as far as to say that... Um, Pretty much, we really don't care if you have a bachelor's degree, a master's degree, um, a doctorate, whatever it is, because we can't use it. And pretty much insinuating that women are selfish. Modern women are selfish. What is your take on that? Anybody can start. <laughs> Goodix Rising says, Kevin Samuels is a blood clot idiot. <laughs> Why Dido. is that? Why is that? I'm going to say this. Go ahead. I cannot disagree with everything that he says, but I cannot agree with everything that he says. Mm -hmm. And furthermore, the, the tone that he takes, this is why, as I said before, he is making men the prize. And he's actually downgrading women. <clears throat> giving them let me rate yourself and all these what are you from a one to a ten and just by looks alone so mostly kevin is going off of your looks and your age okay and you can't do that at a certain level of your life in your 20s and 30s your 40s your 50s different and he, he makes it sound as if if you're not married by a certain age, that you're trash, basically, or something is wrong with you. Yeah. So I'm sorry, I, I'm not able to to grasp the things he's saying, especially when he's speaking about Big Shirley. Mm -hmm. It's very demeaning. Vilex LR says, what does he mean by use you? So what I got from it, um, 
it's utilize not, utilize take yeah utilize take advantage of so for example if if you go into a relationship with a man so say you have a sugar daddy this is just a random example um you are able to use his money to buy like your car whatever you want to use the money for you can use his house his cars whatever so pretty much if you're going into a relationship um what he's insinuating is that pretty much if a man cannot look use you with all the resources that you have that you bring to the table then pretty much it's a loss it's like a fail the relationship is a fail you are at a loss as a woman because your man cannot use you that's pretty much what i got from that quote you can let me know um what you guys think about that as well Jolly little traveler says, "Y'all, this guy's a dinosaur size. I want us as a people to get past this type of thinking. He is problematic." Um, Virgo lady says, "I don't know why women go live with him after he talks this crap. His crap." <laughs> Kevin Samuels. Okay, so Kevin Samuels is 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 to me is being ex very extreme, and when you become extreme, then. Things are not gonna always. You you have to have some type of medium. Yeah, and I believe that it's very extreme. Um, the way that he speaks, and now he has this big following, and yeah, he's rooting for the men because women shouldn't have demands. First of all, women shouldn't have demands. Women should have standards, right? Yeah. We should have standards. However. Women's standards have a lot of women's standards have changed because of the men that they meet or what they see, and they are become distrusting with men. Mm -hmm. So therefore, your distrusting of men has changed the way you deal with them. So now you see women like my, you know, city girls, and you know, you know what I mean. They're like, you're going to give me what I want and I'm not going to give you what you want until you give me what I want. Period. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, again, yeah. like I I think that, you know, the the interaction of a man and woman is a sacred union. So it's like a give and take thing. You know, it's like, I mean, if we're talking about the physical, it's very simple. We think about, you know, the whole in and out thing, you know, man and woman, right? But if you look at it spiritually and mentally, the man has to support the womb. Like for every strong man, for every successful man, there's always there's always like a womb that's supporting him. Right? There's always a strong womb behind every successful man. Right? Because she helps him in ways that that his manhood can't supply. You know what I'm saying? Like his manhood can, can only his manhood can only hunt, protect, provide, all that stuff. But if he wants uh, a lineage he has to plant the right seed in his womb and protect her until she grows his children and his his his, his lineage, right? Right, but see, you're so, speaking on a level that is very... Okay, so that's 20s and 30s. When you're in your 40s, you've probably been married and divorced. When you're in your 50s, you probably lost... You know, some, your, someone could have passed away. You know what I mean? So as you get older, things change. So he cannot put this dynamic on the whole group. He cannot put his his philosophy on the whole group because everyone is different. Yeah, everyone is different, you know, but it's it's the same physical principle. Like, you know, or like it's it's like when you go to a doctor, right? A doctor knows um, you know, if you got muscles, right? A quick um say somebody who's like a physiotherapist, right? A physiotherapist knows exactly what muscles you have, whether you are, are a skinny, whether you are, you know, physically fit like a bodybuilder, you have the same muscles pretty much, right? But your makeup of the muscles might be slightly different. So, um, you know, everybody has a need to belong. Everybody wants to be, wants people around them, regardless of who the person is. It's just a matter of which people do they want around them. What, Everybody wants a relationship. What I'm, it's a matter of what I'm hearing from Kevin is that once you reach a certain age, you're not worth. You're not worth it. If you're a certain size, you're Sorry, not worth people. It. No problem. That's what I'm. That's what I'm hearing from Kevin. If anybody agrees with me or disagrees with me, I, 
please assert uh, I'm so sorry, but this is what I'm hearing from Kevin. It's like, and what do you bring to the table? There are so many women in society right now who have everything together. You know, they're bossed up and, and, and men don't like that attitude, but this is the attitude they have because when you're independent, they feel like you're more worthwhile. You know, nobody before, oh, they don't want anybody who a man doesn't want anybody who who needs them. They want a woman who wants them, which I understand that. But now he's basically saying what I'm hearing is that we should need we should need the man. And and I do we do need to make children you do need a man. You no, no, no. You know what I think? I think that uh, I think that you're you're right. I think that we need each other in order to to interact. And no matter what, be I'm a firm believer in the spiritual aspect of it because if you're if you're a man, no matter what, you have a you have a strong womb. If you're a successful man, you have a strong womb behind you. It could be your mother, it could be your sister, it could be your your girlfriend or your soulmate. But that's just that's that's the way that things are brought into life. You you came from a womb yourself, so no matter what, like there's at least one womb that supplied you. I have so a point it's, it's a point. when you're through. Yeah, so 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 that's 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 the whole thing about uh, um, you know, you say that you're too old or or whatever the case is. Like it's still the same principle. In order to bring something into life, you have to think about it, you have to act on it, and then you make it a reality, right? Once so if you. Want, Change this thing. Hold on one second. How do you Hurry up, make, I want you to come back. How do you make this so nobody could see? Like, how do you change it? So I'll be right back. Where are you going? <laughs> how do you change? How do you do it? You know how to do it? I don't have a clue. Chris. Yeah. Oh, you oh you make it like you just put it like, you know, like. You're leaving to come back? I'll be right back. You want to close the window, close the camera? Right. So just tap on the um the ca little camera, the camera card. Up. Got yes. Oh, she did yes. it. How long ago is it? I have something well. for you. Microphone as well. John, you had a point. Yeah, I was going to say something. Yeah, I have a point. Um, I think in these times, the new times, the new things, we have to open our minds to different ways of conceiving now. People can buy sperm and all these things going on and baby selling. So this whole notion of people need people is through the door. Yeah. Right? We, we, right we now. All, we all need each other. Pardon me? We all need each other. I don't think so. That's the uh, reality, you but it's you not. Got, you got friends? You got friends, you got family, Chris's friends, you Chris's are right. family. You need people to be there for you. You are right. You need but, people to get your back. But a lot of people don't is. believe it. It's reality, but reality is not so always they're, what we think. They're, they're, they're under some, you know, probably some sort of influence. No, society, nothing but... wrong with them. The services are being offered and they are subscribing to it. Yeah, the service is good. The services are good. It's an option, right? All right. Let me, but, let, me tell you, but, let me tell you why I think we are, we are heading in that direction really strongly. You see a man uh, and a woman, right? They're going good, good, good. You see a baby born? It's over. They might go good, good, good. good. Have you, the see right. a, hold on, hold on. you see as they're married? It's over. Uh, yeah, what is the problem? Is the, the you know, baby... For me to have sex, you cannot have sex by a text. Oh. It's me no, to be too no, quick. No, you should have text the when person. You were texting, when they were texting, when the guy was texting or the girl was texting, they were texting other people too. So therefore, they didn't really get, they didn't get to get any chemistry. No, to they be, got to too honest. much chemistry. It's too much chemistry them get. 
It all it all goes back no, to the No, something basics. is wrong. And this is coming from yeah, like my mother point of view come right down to sisters and other women I've seen around me. As soon as baby born, the relationship over. Well, that's that's that that could that could happen. As soon as they marry, it's over. I'm I've not seen if a handful of marriage at last. What's going on? If you don't share a common root, then you won't share a common fruit. So people are okay. not sharing no common root. So guess what? Stay exactly. by yourself and you stay by exactly. yourself. Exactly. You guys meet no. for sexual activities and go back to uh, the space. See that's that's, that's the that's new the world. That's this oh, is that's, my view, okay, okay, that's what a lot of people are doing. Yes, that's a lot. View. A lot of people are a lot doing of that. that going on, and it's working. Are doing it that. worked for people. It, you know what? It, it could it could keep you alive. You know what I'm saying? It could keep you alive and keep you going, but it's not going to warm your heart. Mm-hmm. Boy, right? the wall of heart, heart all up. It's cool. Right. Right. Let me see here. People in the comment talk up, talk up, cause more and more for me alone, I realize these things. Look like woman, I forgot to buy them. Look a sperm and man pay somebody if you want baby and add a new thing. Yeah. All right. That, that so could much. happen. Thank mm-hmm. you so much, Doug. We really appreciate you joining. So I'm going to remove you right. and then we're going to add somebody else. All right? Doug, big up right. yourself. Thank you so much. Thank, Thank you. you. Yeah. It's nice sometime, Chris. All right. I will. <laughs> Doug, go look for the person who is sending you the text. I know, right? <laughs> All right. So... Uh, da, 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 da. let me see here so here so do you have, do you have anything else to add to that last topic that we were doing that last thing you think i'm gonna i'm gonna touch on um sorry d but say, take for example nick cannon the other day he had a baby and the baby passed away and oh, he yeah. had another woman pregnant right behind it and it's like the baby was just a a, 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 a business transaction that's the reality now and girls are getting it twisted know your role know what you're in it's a business transaction I think and you need to know what you're doing Michelle Obama is in a business transaction with Barack Obama oh, he's a so boy so and she Obama. is two why would you say that hold on hold on hold on oh, wait, wait, wait. No, 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 no. This is my view. Oh, wait a minute. Hold on. She's an attorney and she's going to look one for herself. She don't want no man when they're on her level. She's going to pick our man. We're a liar. Nothing is wrong with that. Nobody here not going to Catholic school. You know where you want. You want a man buy your nice things. A man know where they want too. We need to get to the facts. It's a transaction. Business transaction. This is where the problem going on. That's why the man get it twisted about the use part, you know. Because I know him having a big car, a woman coming at the car, so something must be given to be getting. It goes right there. Anybody Bottom have, line. No, anybody has no he's to saying say about this. what is he going to use for, not just right now. Man can buy what he want, a road. Man can buy a vagina, Okay. She's talking oh, about buy, why do I buy need to clean it? Thank you, money. Christina. <laughs> why are you? Why do you? Go need to, so I know that. <laughs> why does that man need to keep you in his life? What is so special about you? Sometimes the men no want keep you, or you want stay. Or you think you're special. I make him a use you. He's a special use. Drunk That's true. <laughs> I'm sorry, but this is a real deal. But that's people in the comment, talk up, talk up. That's people in the comments, let's see, let's see. If you can't find somebody for you, they know that's sweet, and they're always there to use. They're using the cup you're drinking with Christina. It was in your cabinet, <laughs> ready to be used. <laughs> So that's my bottom line. Know where you're in. Because guess what? Sometimes women meet a nice guy and they take the thing for joke. They reverse the table. All right. So where does the box start? How do we know that they're nice? I have seen relationship where the guy pouring him out. It's very rare. And the woman kicking him to the curb. How do you know he was pouring his heart? 
explain. In my mind, I see it. He's doing all the right things that I would want my mother, sister, brother to. Mother. going to explain what is he doing? He's providing. I don't hear any complaint of cheating. He's supportive. What, what else? I'm friends with both parties. I'm not hearing no infidelity story. She's not an excuse. I'm just too easy for cheat pan. So she do it. Oh. Yeah, man. You might commit suicide, you know. For sure, you know, it goes both ways. He's in love. So it's not only woman it happened to. All right, so we have a picture. I had posted a picture some time ago. I don't know why I'm unable to add it to this chat. Probably because I have persons in. The, I have you guys in the chat with me. But let me try. Want to add it. me? Let me show it to you on my computer. Hold on, let me press play. All right, let me see if I can see it. This picture here. So a, a photo up like this was added to the chat. Not to the chat. So. My IG page, and there was a lot of mixed views as to whether or not the woman, the woman, should be behind or in front. What is your take on this? I will hold it up for a little bit so they can just kind of see it. People in the people on the live, comment, comment, comment. Comment. Let us know. This is the last question. We'll come to a close. I want to know what you guys think about this picture. Little spoon versus big spoon. Of course, the big spoon would have been the person at the back. And the little spoon is the person in the front. So what do you think about this? Do you think the gender roles apply? Do you think that the man's supposed to be behind? Or you think the woman's supposed to be behind? Which one do you feel? Which one do you think is most appropriate? Comment, comment. Let's hear what you say. Who comment, you comment. Ra, 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 ra. Who are you for comment first? And then we will tell you no know, full opinion. <laughs> It was so polite. <laughs> oh my god, I love this. <laughs> yeah, man. It's sexy. <laughs> so aggressive says the Don't man get and the it. woman just asleep. Somebody says it's sexy. Art Sean Dove says, didn't get to find out the woman who sent me the good vibes, but she can follow me. Follow him there, right there. Good X Rising says, me love hug up my mind, my man. The man's a time. perfect pip. Yeah. Um, yeah, what do you guys think? Come on, comment, comment, let's know. What y'all think about that picture? All right, so I guess you guys can just give your two cents now. What do you think? Um, so aggressive says, for all we know, a man can be going through something and he don't want to show his pain. This may be needed. That's what so aggressive eight underscore says. Agreed. LLC Natural Beauty says, it's probably easier for them to arm. What? For them, for the arm to not fall asleep. Okay. Um, Archon Dove says affection goes both ways. Bill Elixir says this could be a simple matter of sleeping preferences. Uh, that will be. DYM3Z says this one is reaching. Why so? Why is this one reaching? <laughs> Before we ask that. Yeah. I like to be, I like to do both, but if I, if I, if it was me and I find myself hugging him all the time and he's not giving me back that affection, like he's not ever giving me that affection, I would feel away. Yeah, true. Why is always me coming to, to come for you? Like, if I didn't do that, would you come back for me? Like, 
or if I stop doing it, would it would it matter to you? Yeah. That's just me. Maybe he's lacking in that department. <laughs> no man, you have some Which people really not know about no loving. Yeah, they're, they're not affectionate. Beyond sex, that's it. Then just affectionate. And as somebody saying that it's so, and I, and as somebody saying that the chat, a lot of people when they look at this, them say a lie. I tell my aunt not gonna hurt me. Somebody and I hurt them, not mine. <laughs> There's always the issue of who was sleep or who for hand. So aggressive says not only that people does toss and turn a lot. This may not be like this for a long, for long as far as sleeping in this position goes. Stepa's energy, hmm. what? Stepa's sandals, J.A. says, if that energy is not being reciprocated, then it's probably a toxic environment to be in. Soka Aggressive 8 says, truth with lack of affectionate. Okay. Yeah. Yes, yeah, so it really, it has to be reciprocated. Um, I feel like if you're in a relationship where you are constantly the person seeking the affection and the other person is really just kind of mm. like, you know what's the point you know what i mean it's so christina yes my darling what about those people who said they don't kiss and all these things how people manage with them <laughs> how, hello how hello how that go who don't kiss people in anything jump in let me hear it who don't kiss your man you have people work. and that's a relationship that's not your mommy don't have the mouth they smell bad or what i want let me know people in the talk no man let me hear from me alone That sounds like a transaction. DYM3ZM5 says, man could have sleep and enjoy it for lay down beside him and feel like to lay on him or Add him, him to the live. That's my friend. Add him. Add him to the DYM3. All right, let me add DYM3. He probably not going to come on. He probably shy. Our big chuck, do you see? Because if this is one time, it's fine. But if it's... Continuously, Stepa said they must be wrong. I agree. But has it happened to people? Come on, people in your life, talk up. Have you met these people? We can't deal with somebody we don't like kissing. Oh my goodness, really? They have them out there, man. Oh, that work. And then the question is, is it is it the way that people kiss? Because I guess that comes into the question as well. Some people don't know how to kiss. Probably that's it. <clears throat> Christina, also I think you have some people, they're in a relationship. They like the man money. They like the woman money. But they don't like the kissing. Yeah. I guess that would explain it explained that. You know the man too fronty gone, but him have the money. <laughs> so you jump in the same way. And I say Facts. I like this. Facts. Alrighty. So I think this has been a wonderful, wonderful, beautiful session. I really enjoyed it. I love the interaction from everybody. We have reached the final question, which is Big Spoon versus Little Spoon. And I really appreciate everybody for joining. I want to thank uh, my panelists. Miss Devore and John from Model Model NYC. Did I get that right? Model Behavior. Model Behavior. NYC, Model Somebody Behavior said, in New York City. Um, and of course, Miss Devore, you can check them both out. I'm gonna give you like a five seconds. Just drop, just click on that drop list and just check out, check them out. Um, John is a medical aesthetician and creative di di director of Model Behavior New York. And Miss Devore, a.k.a. Angela, she has her bachelor's in social work. She's in management and she's a creative. She's the creator of Devore. So Miss Devore, as we I know her so well as, she's a bikini designer. Lots of the bikinis and the swimsuits that you see me wearing on my profile, she's responsible for them. So big up to my two panelists, Miss um, Devore. Thanks for having us. Very productive. Devore, me and I forgot to talk on another level. Of course. And a <laughs> spiritual. I'm a one text too. 
Yeah, I can't deal with this. Miss <laughs> no way of the closing from. remarks, but I'm <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god. Someone, hold on. Someone said COVID got everyone on caution, especially me. Okay. What, what, in terms of what? Of kissing. Okay. Oh. Lies people are telling. If I want me, they're going to get the COVID. They're going to get it. Exactly. So you're going to take the COVID test, man. Come on. Yeah, man, that's stuff you're loving. <laughs> Some people had bad experiences. But if you're with one person and if you're sleeping with this one person. Somebody exactly. invited us on our exactly. program, Lee. Fine. So says, Send me something, Lee. Experiences. Kissing and don't know how. All right, cool, cool. All right, my beautiful people. So, Christina, have a final look a word. Go ahead, please. Um, Just my little advice, my little two cents. People, yes. just just spend time knowing who you are, what is your worth. That's a better foundation to go off of Fact. before you go and looking for people. Fact. There are several arrangements out there. Know what you're picking. Yeah. Nothing wrong with them in as long as you know what you're pick, taking on. Yeah. So don't go look for Prince Charming and Alice in Wonderland when you know say. Is the maca feel a reach, you know? So just be real. True, that's true. Thank you, John. By the way, Chris, your nails are popping. Hmm? Your nails are popping, girl. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. Yes, yes. The need crow. Let me see. Thank you. Big up yourself. Big up yourself. All right, everybody. What were you saying, Christina? Right. Mm -hmm. What were you saying? Now, I was just saying, I was just saying thank you to Mr. Vori. But the last thing I was going to say is um, just a plug, really. Uh, for the ladies who are still interested in doing dance classes with me, I do have virtual classes, sensuality classes going on right now. They happen every Wednesday at 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. That's Jamaican time. You can send me a DM if you are interested. I'm going to be right? in the class, people. Run in. <laughs> You want to join the class? We need them, do we? <laughs> yeah, that long time <laughs> you've come, you know. so. Long time you've come. All right, everybody. So see you later. Love you all. Good night. Be safe, people. Be safe. Be safe. Good night.